Yes, every time booking a flight, we will only hesitate to choose between Boeing or Airbus. It can be said that these two giants have held the aviation market for a long time, but that does not mean there is no room for a third party, especially when Comac, a representative from the East, is developing faster than ever. Their C919 aircraft will do more than imagined, and who knows, maybe it will be able to expand beyond the mainland market, like the South American market. So can that become a reality? Let's find out in today's episode. Comac gradually penetrates the market Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China. Comac has shocked the global aviation industry with the launch of its C919 narrow-body aircraft, a feat that many previously thought impossible. The aircraft not only meets stringent international standards, but also makes significant strides in key areas that are of interest to global airlines. With a capacity of 168 passengers and a range of up to 3,450 nautical miles, the C919 is not only a high-tech product, but also a symbol of China's strong rise in technological capabilities and its ambition to compete in one of the world's most competitive fields. What makes this event particularly remarkable is the development process of the C919. While Western manufacturers such as Boeing and Airbus typically spend more than $15 billion to develop a new aircraft, Comac has achieved the same feat with significantly less investment. This success is due to strong support from the Chinese government and innovative manufacturing processes. The project has attracted the participation of more than 240 companies across 22 provinces and cities across the country, creating a completely new aerospace ecosystem in a country previously known mainly for manufacturing basic goods. This collaborative approach has not only helped Comac shorten product development time, but also laid the foundation for the development of a generation of young aerospace engineers and experts. They are the pioneers, bringing with them the ambition and skills to expand the vision of the industry beyond China's borders. This ecosystem goes beyond aircraft manufacturing to promote comprehensive innovation in the aviation industry in the regions. Azul Linhas Aéreas, a rising star in the Brazilian aviation industry, is now at a bold and historic crossroads, a choice that few Western airlines would dare to make. Considering the Comac C919 for its fleet is not only a strategic business decision, but also represents a potential paradigm shift in how airlines view aircraft manufacturers globally. The move, if realized, would mark a major turning point not only for Azul, but also for the regional aviation industry. What makes this development so intriguing and noteworthy is Brazil's unique historical context. The country is home to Embraer, the world's third largest aircraft manufacturer and a symbol of innovation and aviation engineering expertise in South America. Brazil has long understood the complexities and challenges of aviation technology and the fact that a national carrier like Azul has shown interest in the C919 not only highlights the quality of the aircraft, but also adds to the strategic significance of the decision. Aviation experts have stressed that Brazil's Aviation Authority, which is recognized as one of the most respected regulators in the developing world, plays a key role in certifying and approving new aircraft models. Brazil's approval is not only a stamp of approval for the C919's safety and performance standards, but also carries significant weight in the international market. If Azul decides to proceed with the deal, it will become the first operator in the Western Hemisphere to put a Chinese commercial aircraft into service. Moreover, the decision has the potential to create a domino effect across the Latin American aviation market, where airlines are looking for more efficient solutions to cope with rising operating costs. The entry of the airplane could open a new chapter for the region's aviation industry offering a competitive alternative to Boeing and Airbus, the two giants that have long dominated the market. In the long term, the impact could spread to the North American market, where commercial aircraft purchases are expected to reach hundreds of billions of dollars over the next decade. One of the factors that makes China's Comac C919 commercial aircraft particularly attractive is its remarkably competitive price. While narrow-body aircraft such as the Boeing 737 MAX or Airbus A320neo typically have list prices of between 110 million US dollars and 135 million US dollars, the Comac C919 is offered for around 85 million dollars. 
This difference presents an opportunity for airlines to save hundreds of millions of dollars in fleet renewal programs, especially in a context of fierce competition and increasing pressure to optimize operating costs. However, price is only part of the story. COMEC also offers outstanding financing packages, thanks to strong support from Chinese financial institutions. These packages include low interest rates of around 2.5%, significantly lower than the industry standard of 4% to 5%. In addition, COMAC has committed to shortening the delivery time to just 18 months, a big advantage in the context of both Boeing and Airbus facing many delays in delivering new aircraft to customers. More notably, COMAC has designed the C919 with technical features that reduce maintenance costs by up to 15% compared to current generation aircraft. This is an important advantage potentially saving millions of dollars for operators in the risky commercial aviation industry. This optimal maintenance capability not only increases financial feasibility, but also increases the attractiveness of the C919 to airlines looking for long-term cost-saving solutions. However, obtaining international certification remains COMAC's biggest challenge on the journey to penetrate the global market. While the C919 has received certification from Chinese aviation authorities, the road to approval from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration and the European Aviation Safety Agency is much more complicated. The process requires COMAC to meet a series of stringent international aviation safety standards, including more than 100,000 hours of testing in extreme conditions, from Arctic cold to desert heat. It is an arduous journey that requires not only engineering efforts, but also the building of a global support infrastructure, something that Boeing and Airbus have spent decades perfecting. Skepticism about the quality of Chinese manufacturing is also a significant barrier. Interestingly, however, some of the C919's core components come from reputable Western suppliers, such as engines from CFM International and avionics from Honeywell, names that Boeing and Airbus already rely on. This hybrid approach could be a key move by COMAC to build trust in the international market. In addition, industry analysts are particularly impressed by the way COMAC has integrated digital technologies into the design and production of the C919. This has not only improved the aircraft's performance, but also helped COMAC optimize its manufacturing and after-sales processes, creating a model that competes directly with its established rivals. With strong government support and an innovation strategy, the narrow-body jet is not only a technological product, but also a symbol of China's ambition to compete globally in the aviation industry, an industry where it has previously played a secondary role. The cabin of the COMAC C919 integrates advanced artificial intelligence technology, which not only supports predictive maintenance, but also optimizes flight performance, bringing the potential to reduce operating costs by up to 17%. COMAC's focus on next-generation technology suggests that it is not just trying to catch up with its competitors, but is aiming to surpass them, creating innovative solutions that are far superior. This is reminiscent of the story of Japanese automakers entering the U.S. market in the 1970s. Initially considered poor imitators, they quickly revolutionized manufacturing processes and redefined quality standards in just a decade. COMAC's emergence has the potential to spark a similar revolution in the aerospace industry, forcing stakeholders to innovate faster and more efficiently. The success or failure of the C919 program could reshape not only the airline industry's balance sheets, but also international trade relations and the future of technological innovation. The timing of this change is especially important as the global aviation industry recovers from recent challenges, and airlines look for more efficient and cost-effective alternatives. Azul Linus Aerius decision, if successful, could mark the beginning of a new chapter in aviation history. The Asia-Pacific region is forecast to account for around 40% of global air traffic by 2035. This could accelerate the adoption of the C919 in international markets, creating a ripple effect that could change the competitive landscape that has been defined by Boeing and Airbus for decades. The questions facing industry leaders are no longer whether COMAC will succeed, but how this change will happen and how it will shape the future of aviation. We are not just witnessing the emergence of a new competitor, 
but the birth of a new era of aviation, said one veteran industry expert. In the next few years, the aviation industry is likely to enter a three-way race between Boeing, Airbus, and Comac, breaking the long-standing duopoly and changing the way we think about commercial aviation. Historical analysis shows that the most important innovations often come during periods of increased competition. The entry of a third competitor can trigger a wave of technological advancement, pushing aircraft design to become more efficient and sustainable. The big question, however, is whether Chinese aircraft can ever truly match the offerings of Boeing and Airbus. And will COMAX rise put the United States at a disadvantage in the global skies? COMAX rise is not just a market competition, but also a fundamental shift in the balance of technological power. Success could spur the development of new aerospace clusters across Asia, shifting the global industry's center of gravity. China, with a projected need for more than 8,700 new aircraft over the next 20 years, worth $1.47 trillion, is becoming the world's largest aviation market. COMAC's home field advantage in this huge market could provide the scale needed to compete globally, not only making China a hub for aviation innovation, but also reshaping the entire industry for the 21st century. Ultimately, the rise of COMAC and its C9 represents more than just the entry of a new competitor into the aviation market. It signals a profound transformation of the industry. As COMAC leverages competitive pricing, advanced technology, and robust governmental backing, it challenges the dominance of Boeing and Airbus, forcing the sector to evolve faster. Azul Linhas Area's consideration of the C919 could be a pivotal moment, not only for the South American market, but for global aviation dynamics. If successful, this move may catalyze a shift in market perception encouraging airlines worldwide to embrace new players offering efficiency and cost effectiveness.